I'm a former visa officer and licensed U.S. immigration attorney, and today we're going to talk about why is it that when I went to my visa interview, the visa officer left the window. They went and talked to somebody else. They disappeared for a few minutes at a time, leaving me to wait around. Why does that happen? So let's take a deep dive at this very interesting topic. Now, if this is your first time at my channel, please hit subscribe so that you can be the first to be notified of future videos about the mysterious process of U.S. visas. Okay, but let's talk again about why is it that visa officers will sometimes leave their window. They'll leave their computer, they'll disappear. Sometimes you'll take a look and you'll see that they're talking to other people. Other times they're just gone. You don't even know where they are, but they eventually come back and you know then they make a decision and it's probably usually a not you know not a decision in their in your favor because if they've had to leave the window and talk about your case for a long time to someone else that means that you have a complicated case something in your case is something that they've never seen before and they need more help from a more experienced officer who's going to tell them hey this is what you should do in this situation okay so that's the first takeaway from an officer leaving from the window is that you have a complicated case you have unusual circumstances that is giving the visa officer pause and making them think hard about whether or not you qualify for a visa okay if you see them talking to another officer perhaps the officer who is sitting at the window next door that just means that they are trying to figure out what to do and they're talking and trying to put their heads together with other experienced consular officers to see, hey, have you dealt with this situation before? What should I do? What would you recommend? Okay, so they're looking, actively looking for a solution to your situation. The other thing that could happen is they could be going, you know, to a back office. Perhaps they're going to the consular manager's office to figure out what they should do. Sometimes for high profile cases or cases that are um, a little bit more nuanced or complicated, you know, the officer might not feel confident making a decision on their own. In that case, they're going to seek the help of their colleagues, of their managers, um, sometimes even of, you know, the law enforcement unit that might be sitting in the section, um, or perhaps they're going to the fraud prevention unit to see, hey, should I be referring this case to fraud to do a very thorough investigation? These are all some of the options. So what this, what this scenario has in common is that generally it's not a good situation. If this is something that has happened to you and then you got a visa denial or then your case is put into administrative processing, the time to get help is now. Book a one-on-one -on -one session with me at www.zfvisa.com because I can help you decipher exactly what is going on in your case that is giving the consular officers um, trouble. And you're gonna wanna do it because sometimes there is a short window of time for you to take action to get your case moving again, to provide information that could help the officer make a decision in your favor, okay? So if you get to this point, this is not something that you can do on your own. It's not gonna be useful to Google it on the internet because you're just not gonna know why there's a problem with your case and then you need to get help. Okay, so book a session with me at zfvisa.com and I look forward to working with you.